Hey, hi there, Pisces. Welcome to your August 2020 weekly psychic tarot card reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. I'd like to thank you for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these readings for free. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below. It helps you out with these readings. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 21 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the world. This can represent a Capricorn, Earth energies. This card is leading us on to the next phase of life with the guides in tow. This is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Pisces. This lady is dancing for joy because she's completed a major cycle. And now there is a reward and success and triumph. This can also be chav travel or a change of residence. It's the path of liberation. It's wisdom. It's knowing about life and about pain and yet still dancing for joy. It's the ability to overcome problems and obstacles and sorrow. There is fulfillment achievements and well-being, success and of your hopes and dreams, it's life-changing. The candle burning at both ends is true illumination, and it's a mandate from heaven to continue on your path. It's an elevation in life, it's support from unseen forces. It's a resolution after struggle. The world points the way to the ultimate. It's long-term happiness. It's being victorious and fulfilled, euphoric, on top of the world. It's coming full circle. It's feeling accomplished and now being a more experienced person. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Page of Wands, Pisces, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This fire could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Now this can be a person that's bringing a message. They could be even making a declaration or an announcement. It could be an invitation. It's a message of importance to your current project or situation. It usually affects work although it can be of a social nature, and this information is positive. This is the beginning of something, a project, a love affair, a new phase in someone's life. This is standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction, and we always feel this page's influence when we're drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we are. This is being intrigued and hopeful and inspired, trustworthy, a beginner. Pages can represent children or an aspect of personality just beginning to develop. They can symbolize an event. It is usually the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. This can be a young person. It can be a quick, intuitive, enthusiastic personality. They're full of daring and energy and that can associate him with Aries. The world with the Page of Wands is a young student or traveler. It can be a study that will take you far. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number zero of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Fool. This card is ruled by Uranus, which links it to Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Now, this is a new path. It's innocence and lightness and trust. It's karmic lessons or major life themes. The Fool gives us courage to continue, and it prompts us to seek new experiences. It's trusting life and taking a blind leap of faith. It's taking a risk. It's having, having absolute faith in the universe. It's staying open-minded to the fresh possibilities. 
This is being on the edge of an important new beginning and trusting where the universe is taking you. It's embarking on a new way of life, a physical journey, moving, starting a new job, or getting married or divorced. But it's that first step, despite some fear. This is a sign, a green light, to step into the unknown, unknown territory. The world card with the fool is something beyond your control or understanding. It can be a frustration or a depression. It's going beyond normal human limits. It's beyond control or understanding. It's traveling overseas or long distance to, do, to new locations. It's reflecting on the past before beginning a new journey. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome the results, and the advice. The Seven of Wands, Pisces, fire energy. This is the card of the lion heart. This is Mars in Leo. This is defending what matters. It's handling new and different informations. And you're on top, and you want to stay that way. Maybe you're a nonconformist because you have two different shoes on. This is achieving a new level, and your determination will overcome all obstacles. It's taking a stand. Now maybe the shoe is on the other foot. But this is a warning against blockages, unnecessary blockages. Do not be a victim. This is a chance to prove yourself. It can be stiff competition in business. Maybe you're feeling singled out, like you're being harassed or doing tasks alone. You're holding your own. It could be putting up boundaries, saying no to others. There could be something you do not want anymore. It can be fighting for what you believe in. It's a defending a unique outlook on life. It can also be how you handle being in demand. You might have to take a strong action or become more self-reliant. This can also represent a stubborn person who likes contradiction or being argumentative. The world card with the Seven of Wands is challenges, viewing the world differently. Your fifth card. This is the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others yet. But you are consciously aware of this. The Knight of Pentacles, Pisces. Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is being poised on the edge of adventure or travel. It's moving with the flow, which is not fast or not slow. It's just steady. This is someone that does their job. They're solidly dependable. They're the worker bee. They're the farmer that works tirelessly in their fields. They put their nose to the grindstone and they get things done. Maybe they're eager to get better back to the regular routine. It's being unhurried and practical and productive, purposeful predictable and reliable, stubborn, cautious, working towards a goal or offering stability. This is a midway point. This has to do with tangible results. The world card with the Knight of Pentacles can be completing a, or slowly completing a major cycle. The Page of Wands with the Fool card is taking a chance in a new place. It could be passionate energy about a new beginning. The Page of Wands with the Seven of Wands is too much passionate fire. You could burn out too quickly. It could be having a lot of writing and work to do, but not finishing what you need to do. It's leaving a project unfinished due to lack of focus. The Page of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles is a passionate upsurge, working towards a goal. The fool with the Seven of Wands is ready to take the next step and fighting hard to meet responsibilities. The fool card with the Knight of Pentacles can represent a new job opportunity. The Seven of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles is doing all the work. It's doing it all at work. It's making it work in your mutual interest. Now, you guys, you have, the t you have two pages of wands in your reading here. This is the Vice Versa Tarot deck by Lunia Weatherstone. They call it the Knave, the Knave of Wands. I'll be giving you the reading to this meeting in just a minute after the end of 
the description. Page of Wands, actually the Knave of Wands in this book. Has to do with the outer self. A brawny young man stands in a desert landscape, holding a tall staff. His upper body is bare, save for battle gauntlets, and a fiery red cloak. His attitude is confident. He is sure of himself and fearless. His bare chest symbolizes a declaration of his strength and a challenge to other knaves to match or best it. This is a person who is undeniably attractive, but he may lack social graces or even fail to understand why they're important. He doesn't mind taking the hard way through a situation rather than smoothing the path. Like the thorny plant at his feet, he can be prickly and irritating in close quarters. And two pages of wands in your reading represent disquiet and agitation. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.